Hi everybody, Dr. Payne here. Just wanted to go over a very common uh, question regarding breast lifts with and without implants. Uh, the questions are so common, um, do I need a breast implant? Uh, can I do a just uh, a breast lift by itself? Uh, what if I'd like to get a breast implant? Are my breasts too low to have an implant of a certain size? So there's so many different directions that that can take. The short answer is that in my practice, I individualize the plan for each person because no two people are exactly alike, although they may fall into similar categories. So just to start on one end of the spectrum. So if somebody has very little breast drooping um, and they don't need any lift, then the question is they can do an implant if that's what they would like. And for p patients that want to be larger with no implants, they might fall into the fat transfer to the breast category, which is a separate topic. So breast implant alone will be the simplest. Now, if somebody has tissue that is real tight uh, or real loose, that might allow them to get a bigger or smaller implant depending on how much drooping there is of the breast. If they need a breast lift, but they have enough tissue and they don't want an implant, then that's easy then they want to do a breast lift alone. The question is, sometimes I may need to take tissue out because I may not be able to preserve all the tissue without making things too tight and increasing the risk for problems there. So in those patients, what we will do is see how much can we save of the tissue um, and do we need to take some out? They might, be, they might feel a little smaller even if all the tissue is saved because breasts are now lifted, and sometimes people will think they're a little smaller, but they may not actually be. If, if no breast tissue was taken out, you're not smaller. Um, on the other side is people that want a breast lift and things are large and they want them reduced. So now they want to be smaller. And then I have to put them into different categories. Are they really having back pain, shoulder grooving, those kind of things? Do we need to take a lot of tissue out to get them smaller? Or do they just really want to be lifted up and they want to do uh, and preserve as much as, as they can. So again, back into that other category. For most people that are in the middle, they want to be bigger uh, and lifted, but not too big. Usually those people will get a small implant to give them some upper, full, uh, upper pole fullness, but not so big that it's going to add to the complication risk if you're making the breast too tight or you're asking the breast to be lifted over an implant that's too large for the anatomy. So. In those cases, usually a small to medium implant with some tissue removal is going to work best. Now, sometimes people don't want an implant at all because remember, an implant is not a lifetime device. Uh, and someday, something may need to be done with it. We're going to do different series of topics on breast implants themselves. What are the long-term issues? What are the, what are the studies showing with the outcomes of implants? We're going to get into all that at some future time. But right now, uh, for the people that need a breast implant with lift, um, and don't mind having an implant. They've just got, as long as they have the right anatomy um, and the right, uh, not too much drooping, that can usually be done, be done at the same time. And for people that do not want an implant, that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, if they have enough tissue, we will get the job done with what they have available. Um, but if they want to be larger, then we may have to think about, about maybe a second stage to do an implant or maybe even a fat transfer to the breast if they want to be large or don't have the tissue but don't want any implants. So that's a general overview for most of the situations that we'll see and we're going to go into detail um, on specific types of that and also in your very own case uh, of course uh, whether we do that with you know pictures and email or an in-person consultation depending on where you are coming to me from but uh, hopefully that will get you started in answering that important question and we hope to see you soon. Thanks again.